GoPro released a drone and we got to fly it. Chris here from Video Maker and you're watching our first and second impressions of GoPro Karma. First and second impressions, what gives? Well, we got to fly Karma not once, but twice in the same week. The first was at the launch event in Squaw Valley, Tahoe, where they announced the Hero 5 Session, Hero 5 Black, and Karma. We learned that Karma's uh, landing gear will collapse along with its rotors so it can fit nice in a backpack. We found out that the gimbal is detachable and that you can actually mount it on a handheld mount and you could use it that way. Uh, as well, we found out that it's a forward-facing camera. Now, it's really really slim and that's really quite different in the marketplace except for of course the announcement that was teased only a half hour after the announcement which was DJI's Mavic. Now uh, we got to fly the uh, Karma right after the announcement and well let's get to our first impressions. So our first impression was the price. $7.99 for Karma. Comes with the drone, the gimbal, the handheld mount, and a backpack. That's a pretty good deal. Now, it's $9.99 if you get it with a Hero 5 Session, and then it's $10.99 if you get it with a Hero 5 Black. Now that's $100 off each one of those cameras if you buy it with Karma. Still, great deal. So after we found out the deal, we took it up the hill and we got to fly it. Now we gave them our SD card, they loaded it into the Hero 5 Black that was attached to Karma at the time. Now we got to only fly at uh, in the easy mode and in 2.7k but it handled pretty well now easy mode doesn't allow it to fly as fast it's not quite as maneuverable but it's a lot easier to fly hence the name now we are flying in a pretty chaotic airspace now there's two other karmas so three total up in the air and well gopro was trusting newbies with flying these drones in this area and they felt pretty confident in it because no one crashed them now we got to take it up and we flew it around it felt pretty good. It wasn't really all that impressive. Now it wasn't necessarily a disappointment, but it didn't feel real, real great. Now the, the controller was nice. It's all in one, so the monitor's included. It feels kind of like playing a video game. You know, the monitor's touch screen and, and it didn't seem to have any glare on it. The buttons make it real easy to operate. You can move the gimbal and whatnot. So overall, it was a good experience. We learned a little bit more about Karma, but it wasn't really enough. We just, you know, it was maybe a five, seven minute flight. But the big problem was when we got back and reviewed the footage, well, all we had was an audio file. All we could hear is the drone buzzing around. So that was a little bit of a disappointment and we talked to GoPro about it and they said, well, let's get you another opportunity to fly it. So later that week, we just happened to be in the neighborhood of where GoPro's headquarters are and we got to fly it. Now they took us out to Half Moon Bay. So that gets into our second impression. Our second impression, well, it starts out in Half Moon Bay, California, right next to the Pacific Ocean. We arrived and they were flying Karma already and they were capturing a whale in the ocean. It was so cool. Unfortunately, I guess they lost their SD card. Bummer, total bummer, because it looked really cool. Anyhow, they landed it, we talked for a little bit and well, it started getting really breezy, really gusty, in fact, enough that we probably shouldn't fly. So we decided we'd go inland a little bit, not too far, maybe about, you know, mile or so inland and we got to fly it. Now, um, I got to fly it quite a few batteries, about three batteries, and there's a couple things that happen. The first is, well, it wouldn't arm recording a couple times, but this is a pre-production model, not the production model. They reminded us again. So the issue might be resolved once the production models are out there. Now, it wasn't a big deal. Uh, it really was just start and stop record again or land it, turn it off, turn it back on and get back up there. But it could be an issue if it does make it out to the production models. As well, we also have had the gimbal where if you go all the way down, it's looking straight down at the ground, it shouldn't go any past that. Well, we actually had it go past that and it actually got stuck looking at the landing gear upside down. So we had to land it to fix as well. A little bit of a bummer, again, pre-production model. It flew real nice and when we were in easy mode, it wasn't a big deal. Once we took it out of easy mode, well, it got a lot more agile in the air. It was a lot faster. The one thing we did notice is when you take your hands off the controls, so you're flying in a, in a, in a direction and you stop telling it to go in a direction, well, it kind of slows down gradually to a stop, not immediately stops in the air. We've experienced that with the Phantom 4, whereas it just stops. Now, sometimes when that happens with the Phantom 4, it pitches really hard and you might see the blades or whatnot. Now with Karma, they wanted to make sure that it didn't do that and so it didn't want to ruin your shot by stopping really quickly. Now, if you want it to stop quickly, all you gotta do is tell it to go in the other direction, kinda like driving a boat in the water, is if you wanna you know, stop quickly, you actually have to put it in reverse. So that was, you know, a little different 
definitely um, you know worth mentioning but it's just something you got to get used to the controller it felt really nice it was really easy to use and really the theme of karma is easy to use for someone new it felt very uh, good in fact they you know they trusted people up on the hill that had never flown before just to go ahead and fly around other drones which i can't say i would do for anything really but you know they must have plenty of karmas I'm sure of it. So anyhow, got to fly it in advanced mode. It flew really well, it was quite agile and it felt really good. Now, is it worth $799? Well, we're gonna have a full review shortly and we'll let you know that. We just can't uh, tell you, we didn't have enough time evaluating it and we wanna make sure we have our hands on the production model to verify that these problems have been resolved. So. That was really our experience. It was really great. We got to fly cable cam mode, the gimbal. It doesn't stay with the cable cam. So if you go from point A to point B, you have to actually control the gimbal while you, it's going flying between those places. It doesn't actually get programmed along with that flight. And then we did droney, which is a selfie flying by a drone. So starts out, flies away. You can control the speed, how far away it goes and all of that, just like most drones that are out there these days. So overall, good experience. We liked it. It was easy to use, but there was a couple of those issues that we just want to dive in deeper and get to review it completely. So there you have it. That's our first and second impressions of Karma by GoPro. If you'd like to buy one or get on a list to buy one and help support us make videos like these, well, there'll be a link in the description as well. There'll be a link for the Hero 5 Session and the Hero 5 Black. As always, like, share, and comment. We want to know what you think. Hey, if you like this shirt, you can buy it as well. Keep your eyes peeled. We will have a review up for Karma shortly. I've been Chris from Video Maker, and until next time, keep doing the hard work that you do. Bye-bye.